So let's take advantage of some of the free downloads available for Blender and we're going to make this in about a minute. Let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now obviously I review a lot of add-ons and I do this week's recommended Blender downloads but I don't always get a chance to play with the assets so I decided to take a look at Geometry Nodes Pipes version 1.1 by Ray. It is available for free, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Go and check it out, it's pretty damn epic. So, like I said, we're going to make something like this nice and easy. So I'm just going to quickly go to a new scene. And just as a very quick tip, what we can actually do is we can take the download and we can actually drag it onto Blender. And as you can see, we can open it up here. Now, there is a tutorial that kind of complements the geometry node setup but it's pretty damn easy. If you actually go into edit mode, the pipe is actually defined by a curve. So you can see here the curve point. And what we can do is we can actually extrude this out and we get new curves. Excellent. And there is variables on the right hand side so we can change things like the radius, the connector points. We can play around with it and tweak it to our heart's desire. So I quickly jumped onto Sketchfab and I downloaded a low poly object. Now I'll explain why in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly import this object. So it's an FBX, so I'll go to import FBX and I think it's on the desktop and it's called dog, yep. And I'm going to quickly scale this up just a little bit. And the next thing I'll do is I'll just make sure the scale is applied. So I'll go to apply and I'll apply all transformations. So this is a cool part. What you need to do is you need to go into your preferences, go to add-ons and make sure you have extra curve objects enabled. Now I actually recommend you enable both of these objects, the extra mesh and the extra curves. They come in so handy, they should be enabled by default, to be honest. So with the mesh selected, I can go to add and I can go to curve. Now you might notice we have a whole bunch of additional curve objects. Excellent. But the one that we're interested in is the bounce spline. So if you go down to knots, go to bounce spline, and it pretty much does exactly what you think it's going to do. It essentially bounces a spline around the topology. So you can see that the bounce spline is now working around the dog. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly hide the dog, for example, and we get this epic kind of bounce spline. It's a very quick way to generate a spline. And we have some variables or some options that we can change. I'm going to put the bounce numbers down just a little bit. So let's put it to 500. Let's quickly take a look at it now. Yeah, a bit more manageable. So I'm going to select the bounce spline and then I'm going to select the pipes. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to copy the geometry node setup. So I can come up to this little arrow and I can go to copy to selected. Now keep in mind the more that your mesh is complicated it might take a little bit longer. But we instantly get results. Pretty cool. So I'm going to select the bounce spline and I'm going to change some of these options in the geometry node setup. So I'm going to put the radius down just a little bit so let's make it 0 0.01. Let's see what we get. Yeah, starting to look better. And we can change things like the random radius, the connector radius. Now one thing that I noticed is the rivets don't necessarily scale perfectly. They could maybe do with being tweaked in the geometry node setup, but we get really nice quick results like so. And that is pretty much how you use the bounce spline and how to use the geometry nodes pipes or utilize it to a certain degree. Do me a favor guys, please support third party developers and artists. We all need your help. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.